Since 2001, the World Health Organization, WHO, has been actively promoting its credential for managing global health security. However, it's been heavily criticized for its initial response to the 2014 Ebola outbreak in West Africa. More than 11,000 people died in Equatorial Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. And despite repeated calls for assistance, it was months before WHO stepped in. Outgoing WHO Director General Margaret Chan has acknowledged the agency's response was too slow. This happened on my watch, and I am personally accountable. I saw it as my duty as your Director General to do everything possible to ensure that a tragedy on this scale will not happen again. History will judge whether the new emergencies program has given the world a stronger level of protection. With the help of other global bodies like Doctors Without Borders, the international community eventually took action in West Africa. China was one of the first countries to provide emergency assistance. The nation sent millions of dollars in aid and thousands of medical personnel to the affected areas. Chan says the outbreak in 2014 has resulted in the implementation of vital reforms at the WHO. It's also led to the development of the first Ebola vaccine and new multinational health agency programs. Earlier this month, a new outbreak of the virus was reported in the Democratic Republic of Congo. As the region is remote, authorities are confident that they can contain the spread. And so far, the response has been swift. Either way, it seems, Ebola is going to be the first major challenge for the new head of the global health body. Susan Mongeli, CGTN.